we've got a uh, charter top. So we're going to do a derivative, Riemann sum, and some other stuff. So the height of the tree, T, is given by the twice differentiable function H. So that means that H is continuous from uh, 2 to 10 for sure because it's twice differentiable. And H is meters and T is time in years. Select H T in table. All right, so this says use the table to estimate H prime of six. So six is between five and seven. So this is a derivative problem. So we would say H prime of six is going to be approximately, um, we're gonna do slope, 11 minus six, over seven minus five. And that is fine for the answer. You do not have to solve that. Now it says using correct units interpret the mean of H of six. So 11 minus six is the Y. So that is meters. And then the bottom is years. So what that means is this tree is growing. Let's see H, I gotta see what H is the height of the tree so uh, the approximate rate of growth of the tree at six years is 11 minus 6 over 2 meters per year which if you want to simplify that would be five halves or two and a half meters per year during or at when t equals six so that's how you would want to uh, describe that we would definitely want to say at t equals six years. So that's part A. Part B says explain why there must be at least one time from two to 10 where h prime of t equals two. So I'm telling you that I'm, I'm sure this is going to be mean value theorem. So I've got to find up here somewhere where a slope is going to give me two. So if I do H of five minus H of three, all over five minus three, and H of five, I'm gonna be plugging in six and two here, so six minus two is four over two equals two. And again, remember we had this twice differentiable of H. So we would say since H is twice differentiable, then H is continuous. Now we, I said earlier from two to 10, you can say two to 10 here, or you can say from three to five because that's the uh, T values we're using on this. Either one is fine. Then we would say by mean value theorem, there is an A, there is a C, I put that, that means there exists a C backwards E is a there exists a C such that H prime of some C equals two. And that is the mean value theorem that says that there's somewhere on the derivative that it will, the actual derivative will equal the slope between any two points. So this one's kind of hard because I started off with two and 10 T is two and 10 and I plugged in a bunch of different things till I found the one that gave me this two over here for slope. Part C says use trapezoidal sum theorem with four sub intervals. So we're doing a trapezoid uh, to approximate the average height. So average height means we're gonna do there's, that's gonna be one over 10 minus two integral from two to 10 of h of t dt. 
So we want to find that value right there. So we're going to get one eighth. And then we're going to multiply that by all of the trapezoids going across there. And since we have five of them and we need four, we're going to use every one of these. So uh, if I were to look at this as a graph, because sometimes we do that. Now this graph is growing the whole time. And we got a we got a two, a three, a five, a seven, and a ten. So we've got all of these trapezoids right here. So this this is 1.5 here, and this is two, and then we got six, and then we got eleven, and then we Oops, that's not, I got to move all these over one, sorry. That's 1 1.5, 2, 6, 11, and 15. So we're going to do the base. So from here to here is 1, from here to here is 2. These are the heights, that is 2, and that is 3. Those are the heights. So base 1 is 1 1.5 plus base 2 is 2 times the height, which is that one, all divided by two. So there's the first trapezoid plus, and then we go to the two plus six. And then the height of those two is the distance between three and five, which is two. And that whole thing is divided by two. And then plus, we got the base of six plus 11. And then the height between five and seven is two, and that's divided by two. Plus, the last one is going to be a base of 11 plus the base of 15. And from seven to 10 is a height of three. I'm gonna stick it in front so we can see it. Hold that divided by two. And that right there would be our answer. So you do not have to go any further than that. That's the answer. If you want to simplify that, that comes out to be 263 divided by 32. Um, now this doesn't, this, this would be the average height of the tree in meters uh, over that time, eight year time. Yeah, so that would be the answer to C. Part D, the height of the tree is given by this function. So this function G is the height of the tree, and X is the diameter of the base of the tree. When the tree is 50 meters tall, the diameter of the base of the tree is increasing at a rate of 0.03. So what that tells me is that dx dt, and it's dx dt because x is the diameter, and it says increasing, so dx dt is 0 0.03 meters per year. Uh, according to this model, what is the rate of change of the height? Now remember this height is this G part. So that means we are looking for DG DT. That's what we want to find. And we want to find that when the height of the tree on H well, actually, it's not H is G. So we want to find that when G equals 50, 50 meters. That looks like an 80. So I don't like that. So let's do that again. And that G does not look good either. So I'm going to erase that and try to put a better G there. So when G is 50, so I'm going to use this given formula here. Got to do the derivative of this thing to get dg and dx. So we have to use quotient rule. So dg over dt is going to equal, so I got to do quotient rule, which is bottom times derivative of the top, which is 100, minus the top which is 100x times derivative of the bottom, which is one, so it's just gonna be 100x up there. So I'm going to get rid of that. And that's all over the bottom squared.
And then I've also got a dx dt on there because I'm doing the derivative of x with respect to t. So now I got to plug all of my numbers in. So we need to find what x is when the height is 50. So I've got to plug 50 in because I need to find x. And we're looking, I'm plugging that into this, this uh, equation down here that I got to solve for that what x is. So I plug x in. So I get 50 is going to be 100x over 1 plus x. So I got to multiply the 1 plus x to the other side. So I distribute that 50. And then I subtract 50 from both, I'm sorry, 50x from both sides. So I get 50 equals 50x, so x equals 1. So I got to come back over here and plug in 1. Minus, and I plug in 1 for that x, so that's 100. And then down on the bottom, I'm going to have 1 plus 1, the quantity squared. And that right there is going to be the answer. So it says, according to that model, what's the rate of change of the height of the tree? So that is the answer. Now, if you went ahead and solved that, oh, I forgot, I didn't multiply that. I'm going to multiply this whole thing by dx dt, which is this 0.03. So I need to put a point of this thing times 0.03. So if you multiply that by 0.03, uh, if you multiplied all that out by hand, you would end up getting three fourths. So what that means is the rate of the height, change of the height of the tree is three fourths meters per year. So that's the end of that problem.